Alright ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Junior with SOT Metalworks coming at you here with another fine outstanding video. What do we got today? As you see on the screen, we got the new core coins. Uh, this is what they call their safety coin. We were privileged enough to work with these fine folks down at new core. They've just come into our local community here and can't say enough great things about these fine folks. But what are we going to do? We're going to try to replicate this on the CNC plasma table cut these coins out so they have something fancy to hang up inside their office or uh, showroom or lobby whatever it may be but yeah sit back relax we'll go through the process here i've got a couple of videos of this coming up so hopefully you guys don't get too bored with it but let's get after it and see just how this turns out
ladies and gents, there they are right off the table. So this last one we cut there. You can see got the end in there for new core. Becoming the world's safest steel company. Now that is saying a lot. Our challenge. So this is their safety coins like we talked about. And we have cut them out of some mighty fine looking steel. So next step, get them all ground up, get everything looking good. Uh, we're gonna weld some hangers on the back of this so they can hang them on the wall however they need to. Uh, we'll go through that process just a touch. Won't be a, uh, a big process, just a little something different than we normally do, but I thought it would look better. I didn't want to put a bunch of holes and stuff in here for mounting purposes uh, and change their logos up any on this safety coin. So I thought that'd be the better deal, but. All right, got them both cut out. Now we got to get to work and get some uh, fine and dandy paint on these fine jokers. Check out those good looking signs. I don't know if anybody's aware of that or not. Uh, so we've got our uh, safety coins. We've got the backs primered up. We've got our little brackets welded on there. Just tacked them on the back. This is a new deal that we do. I've seen, I've seen some other folks do them, do them like this. Uh, works out real good. Works out best with the layered signs, which this one will be. Uh, here's your other layer over here. So here is the other layer. Got it going on. This is the ring that goes on there. And then I've got the other couple pieces laying on the table. But we're in here grinding up the other ring for the other side of the safety coin. Just all kinds of things going on. All right, ladies and gents, back on the new core uh, safety coins. Gonna get a little paint on them. Gonna get some gloss white on these bad boys. This is what the biker's gonna be. This is what's gonna show off them fancy letters and stuff. So gotta get a good couple coats on here. Probably put uh, two layers. We'll uh, let everything get tacked up real good after we get this first coat on. We'll come back, put another layer on. You guys know how we do. It's uh, going to turn out like a pretty awesome sign, I got to say. Uh, I like these signs when they become layered like this. Uh, so this one's going to have, let's see, this one is the three layers. This is going to have the three layers. The other one's going to be the four layers. I tell you guys what, I think it's going to turn out an awesome product. And I hope, I hope they're happy with it. That way... They come back and order some more outstanding looking signs from us. But, so you guys seen in the video prior, hopefully, we got uh, got the backside uh, hanging brackets tacked on there. And you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, just a touch where we had to weld those up. Of course, it distorts the mill scale on these a little bit. Got them back in here, got them sanded down. Got both sides, two coats of primers on both sides. Now we're gonna get two coats of paint on the front side. All right, there's our first coat. You guys think, it looks pretty good, don't it? No runs, no blemishes. Good to go. All right, we'll get another coat on here and then we'll get the other ones painted up. All right, ladies and gents, in here with the uh, front of one of the uh, safety coins, got, uh, the red, white, and blue theme going on with this one, so got to get some taping off done. See, about, about that long. Then we'll go over here and be about that long. All right, got our paper. Let me get this turned around here. You guys in the camera frame there? We can just turned around here. Get a little tape on this. <clears throat> This one's not uh, too hard to do the way we cut it out. Everything should be fairly easy to uh, get uh, taped off and, and stuff like that. So hopefully we do this just, just right and everything will be good to go. Hopefully. Right, that all taped off. Got that one taped off. Get a paper on here. This one's uh, 
pretty straightforward. Not, uh, not too much to uh, complain about this one. We uh, planned accordingly for the multicolors. That way our taping off makes it a whole lot easier on us. So just a multi-step process here. Getting all these colors squared away, but Tape's not wanting to stick real well. Not wanting to stick real well. It's all right, we'll add a little extra. It is hot, hot, hot here in the state of Kentucky right now. So uh, nothing's wanting to work real good, including me. So got that going for us. away on that we'll get some blue on here and see what happens all right back on the safety coin here got our premium blue going on i do not like this uh premium paint it does not do as good but sometimes our rust-oleum stuff we're limited on our colors so i think it's going to do just fine with this little bit of blue here we will see how it turns out you just never know Constant battle getting all them edges. Got to make sure you get all them edges. If you won't miss one, you can ruin a whole sign like that. And these stars, they hide them edges pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Got our blue on there. Should be good to go. We'll let that get all dried up and we'll head to the next step. All right. So we got part of the safety coin here on the other one. We've got the grow, expand, and live. Uh, this is going to be hammered silver. And I think this is going to, in their safety coin, it's silver. Uh, but I think this is going to give them a lot better product. Uh, get that little bit of textured look to it and see if we can make this thing pop just a little bit more. Always, uh, Always trying to go above and beyond and do some extra stuff there. So, all right, hold on. This one ain't spraying real well. Get the other can out here. Yeah. Y'all have to bear with me. Apologize. Apologize. Now you guys have seen me do this hammered time and time again here. It's uh, nothing special. I mean, as far as putting it on, it, it goes on just like everything else. If you guys noticed, I uh, scuffed up the sign a little more than I normally do. That way, it gives it a little more texture. Seems to do a little bit better on this hammered uh, when you do that. But this textured look on this hammer just uh, seems to pop really, really good. But some people may not be a fan of it, but I know, I know we are. It's a pretty cool deal here. Seems like a lot of people ask for this color. Always want it. And we got our two rings for our coins laid out. These are fixing to get etched up. This is my bottle of magical solution. No, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Don't leave questions in the comments. You, you, you got to figure that stuff out on your own. I, gotta, I can't tell y'all everything. 
yeah. so this one's going to get done uh in metallic color that one's going to get done in metallic color you guys are seeing the other ones who just busy busy all right let's get back after it. we'll get all these cleaned up show you the designs we get on them everything here in a minute all right before we chime in here in just a minute got to uh don't make fun of my makeshift paint rack it uh may or may not be taken up by a larger object but yes getting ready to get primer on the rings we've got them all etched down and all the fandy dandy designs on them i mean would you look at them jokers Woo! so got all that done got all that squared away fix and get some primer on the back side we'll let it get good and dry and then we'll put some paint on the front side and see what happens all right ladies and gents got the uh coin rings out here as you can see uh fixing to lay some paint down on here a little metallic it's a little humid out here tonight hope we don't regret this but we're gonna go with it see what happens that way we got plenty of time later on down the road to change things if we need to so Gonna have a couple dark spots in it, looks like. It's okay, it gives it character, builds character. All about building character. This humidity is just absolutely terrible right now. Just terrible. Hard to get any good painting done. Hard to get any good sign work done. Worst absolutely worst time of the year to be trying to do this stuff but got to make do with what you got when you got it all right ladies and gents here you go got the ring for the safety coin on the backer uh we don't have it mounted down yet it's just free floating sitting there it does have the uh 3M adhesive stuff on the back side of it all the way around. It's just not, uh, we don't have the backing pulled off of it. So we got the Gorilla Tape on the, uh, our challenging side, the American flag. We're going to get the backing tape off of this, get it centered up in here where it needs to go, and then plop it down in there. It should be secure. Then we can pull the ring off. Uh, pull the backing tape off it get it on there and then our big end will go down on top of it for the new course so all right Perfect. Now we can get this piece up. Take the backing tape off of it and get it stuck on there. Hopefully everything works out just the way we want it to. Becoming the world's safest steel company. And the trick with this one is it doesn't exactly the letters don't exactly match up. And there's just a slight, slight ring right around there. So you gotta be careful with them sometimes. You got to be careful. Everything kind of squared up, looking good. Not too bad. All right, let's get the end. I got the end here. We'll get it all squared away. All right, got the end there. And I know about where this goes, but not exact. I got it kind of measured out here. Two little spots. And that, my friends, is that. 
Ooh, she got a little weight to her. Not terrible, though. Not terrible. All right. So what would you guys think about that one? Went together really, really well. I can almost pick the whole sign up pulling on that one thing. So uh, one end there. So you guys know that's adhered really, really stout. Had really good luck with this tape. They just come out with the new stuff, like I said. This is that Gorilla tape. Uh, you might be able to read that there. But um, they just come out with the new 60-pound stuff. We have used the 30-pound stuff over the last four or five years. This new 60-pound stuff is even better. And whew, it's pretty stout stuff. But big shout-out to Nucor. This one turned out pretty slick. What do you guys think? All right, ladies and gents, so I didn't show you putting it all together, but this is the other side of that coin right there. I think it turned out mighty fantastic looking. So, yeah, got that one done. All right, ladies and gents, we're going to stop the video here, but that was the coins, uh, the front and back side uh, for Nucor. I just wanted, this video was going to be just a little too long to wrap up the other uh, part of this video. Uh, there's a couple other signs we're going to integrate in the next video. Let you guys know what's going on. Fill you in. Uh, show you where we dropped them off at. What they thought about them. Uh, and then we will get a, a full in-depth um, video of the finished product. Where it's hanging at. The whole nine yards. Kind of give you guys a little glimpse of what's going on. So stick with us. We'll get the other video posted here in the next little bit and we'll get a wrap up to this one. And hopefully you guys don't mind too bad. But big shout out to Nucor. Nucor can't thank them enough. It's been fantastic working with them. Uh, they're a great asset to our little community here. And it's been a wonderful deal with them coming in. So yeah, stick with us. Wait for the next video. And we will get the next one up just as soon as we can, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you all so much. Hey, remember, work smarter, not harder. And y'all have a fine outstanding day. We'll catch you on the next one. We out.